There was two movies my mother did not allow me to see. One she didn't have to worry about because it was rated X. Which was? Uh, Andy, Andy Warhol's Frankenstein. Uh-huh. But she didn't allow me to see, in its initial release, uh, The Exorcist. Mm-hmm. And there was a reason for that. You have to be at least as old as I am and be living with your grandparents where they get the inquire every week. The whole thing about The Exorcist was it may be too intense for human beings. That (laughs) it wasn't just a horror film in 73 when it came out. You were experiencing the devil. Yeah, you were experiencing the devil. And that people like committed suicide after they saw The Exorcist or people were put in insane asylums (laughs) after they saw The Exorcist. And every new issue of the National Enquirer had my son went crazy and is in a straitjacket. You know, watching how it. watching The Exorcist ruined my life. I dream of reviews like that. Yeah, I, I, I just, that's like all I've ever wanted to get as I, a I National mean, Enquirer it, it story. Literally, you are taking your sanity in your hands to see The Exorcist. I didn't see The Exorcist till its 1975 re-release. And I saw it at a drive-in then. Did it deliver? Oh, yeah. No, it was, yeah, it was wonderful. I I thought it was great. I mean, to me, the horror film event of the year, and again, not having seen everything that comes out, but like, I guess the horror film event for me of the last five years was during October at the New Beverly, we got a print of uh, The Exorcist. And showed The Exorcist every midnight at uh, on Saturday. And normally we we change the screenings up. You know, uh, it's like a different different midnight movie every Saturday. But that one for October, let's just show The Exorcist. Can I just ask you if it was? The it was the two thousand. It was the two thousand one. That's the only one you can only that find. That is anymore. the only one you can find. And I prefer the earlier one. Well, I'm here's sorry. the thing: is here's the thing about that though. That was very interesting to watch it because I hadn't seen the two thousand version. And I'd heard Edgar Wright, and I heard a whole lot of people say. Exactly what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Some of that stuff, in particular with the audience, really worked. Yeah, of course. When, no, no, but, 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 but legitimately worked. Not bullshit. All right. When Pazuzu, Shadow, just showed up on the wall. All right. When they closed uh, yeah. Reagan's door, the whole audience went, oh. And there's one in particular where he sees Pazuzu's face, um, like on the burner of the, kitchen. of the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. And the whole audience went, oh. And not only that, it was like Jason Miller. Uh, Joshua Miller, Jason Miller's son, yeah. was at the theater. He had said the same thing. Oh, I don't really like the 2000 version. You right. didn't do anything to it. And then when the whole audience responded to that little burner shot, right. all right, he goes, oh, they seem yeah, to like right, it, you know? Right, right, right. But what was really interesting was to watch a movie from 1974. And that theater was jam-packed every Saturday. And people had either they, they'd seen it or maybe they think they'd seen it. But they were in this movie theater with all the vibe going on in that theater at midnight. And that was a horror movie. Everyone really, really got into it. We showed devil-themed trailers before it started. And it it, it, it was a feeling unlike I... And I saw it twice during that month mm-hmm. because it was just such an exciting experience to watch The Exorcist during that during those, those midnight screenings with that audience. And I'm sure most of them had seen it to some degree or another, but they really hadn't. Right. Compared to how they felt that night. Well, it's also a great movie. Yeah. The Exorcist is a great movie and really gets better with age. And when you look back at 73, uh, when it came out at the end of 73, (laughs) you know, it really is more of a cinematic achievement than I think people might have thought five, six years after, even though it was. I know, know, I agree. I agree. I mean, it's almost. it's, 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 It's kind of a perfect movie. Yeah, it is. It's perfectly cast. Yeah. The tone is fantastic and it is perfect and it's also one of the most realistic horror films yes until it's not but but then it sold you this whole new version of realism now oddly enough pauline kale hated it well she kicked the she she kicked the legs out from under it uh to wonder into one big absolutely degree that that i don't think i ever would have thought about earlier Mm -hmm. And now when I look at it, uh, that's one of the things that makes me love it, is the fact that it's the exorcist's big achievement isn't the fact in convincing you that the devil exists. The exorcist's biggest achievement is convincing you that Catholicism could handle it if he did exist, right. or that Catholicism is actually the one true religion. Yeah. In order for the devil to respond to holy water, he has to be completely indoctrinated in Catholicism. That's true. 
A priest would have to mean something for an exorcist to work. Now, I don't believe in Catholicism, but the mm-hmm. idea that the but yeah, but at the same time, uh, uh, I don't believe in uh, a big giant ape, but I do when I'm watching King Kong. Right. So, in the course of watching The Exorcist, I do believe in Catholicism. I think she thought it was the biggest recruiting poster since the Bells of Saint Mary. And, and, and it, but, <laughs> The but, Exorcist one. Yeah, but no one ever issued. No one ever. When everyone was worrying about, oh my God, did this movie actually capture the devil? Is it going to ruin your life if you saw? Which were some of the was which is the talk in seventy three and seventy four. No one ever talked about how the fact that just one religion had the expertise to handle right handle the devil. What if Reagan had been Jewish? True. Well, exchange. No, you're right. No, it's, it's, more, it's more about the kiss. It's more about the kiss that Reagan gives the the priest on the cheek, right. which ends the movie. Right. Reagan's kissing the priest, not knowing what she's doing, is 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 the is, the, is the ending. Yeah, I have a. a, a my own revival movie theater right, in, in Los Angeles called uh, The New Beverly. I got a gorgeous print of uh, The Exorcist. And we showed it uh, every Saturday at midnight during the month of October. And actually, Freakin doesn't allow film print. My, my, my thing about my theater is I only show 35 millimeters, sometimes 16, but no digital. Right. And he actually doesn't allow film prints to be shown of The Exorcist. He only wants DCP. Oh, so I called him up personally mm-hmm. and asked him, and he, he allowed us. Uh, he gave Warner Brothers permission for me to uh, show The Exorcist on film. And so we showed it, and it was an amazing experience. I actually hadn't seen the movie in quite a while and it was killer, absolutely killer. And so good that I went and saw it like twice during uh, the month that it played, the four times at midnight. And um, and I sat there and watching it and, and I, you know, I imagined doing like a horror movie like that. And I even started reading some of the horror novels of the day to see, is there just one? Yeah. You know, wasn't made into a movie or was made into a movie, wasn't made well. I was like reading The Sentinel, all right? right. Uh, and to see, well, how does that as a book? Actually, the book's really horrible. <laughs> right, uh, I'm still reading it, but I still want to get to the end of it. But, <laughs> all right. Uh, but, uh, um, but I had to be honest with myself. And um, I could never make The Exorcist the way he made, made it because um, I don't think I could commit to that sober tone and that's what the film is it's that atmosphere yeah. that just lingers over that you and just washes lingering you. Yeah, yeah. it's one note yeah. one note but beautifully mm-hmm. one note atmosphere I, I i i would be forced i just could I, but that but i don't think anyone wants me to do that right. that would be me working at half speed 